NASA's Perseverance Mars rover is already sending back its first images of the red planet, showing the rover in midair, the red color of the planet's surface, and rocks scattered next to the rover's wheel after touching down on Mars Thursday. I'm not in, yeah, like personally involved in the mission, but my heart was racing. The people working on this mission, they've spent their entire lives, you know, up to this one moment. Despite the rover being millions of kilometers away from Earth, Vancouver's HR McMillan Space Center will be closely following its journey from down here. We have uh, uh, visits that you can come and walk around in our gallery space and our observatory is open uh, in the evenings uh, tonight on Friday night. Hopefully it'll be clear because Mars is visible in the sky right now. The Space Center's program coordinator Michael Unger explains why this rover is unlike any other. It actually even has a helicopter, a drone helicopter that it's going to test out uh, to fly in the very thin uh, Martian atmosphere and it's also landed in a really amazing place called Jezero Crater. So inside of this crater, uh, they believe was an ancient lake. And this is where we could potentially answer some of those big questions that we've been trying to find out with Mars. You know, if it did have water, which we now found out with the past missions that there was water on Mars, now we're able to go to some of those places where there was those, that water. And if there was was their life there. While the rover likely won't find any aliens, it will be on the lookout for signs of ancient life. We're certainly not talking about green uh, green Martians, uh, but any life that we do find there, you know, ancient life will really tell us a lot about, you know, our planet and, you know, perhaps, you know, life didn't start first on Earth. Perhaps it started uh, somewhere else. You know, there have been um, rocks that we have found actually on Earth that started on Mars. So really Mars is like this next sort of science laboratory that helps us understand Earth uh, so much more. In the middle of a global pandemic where people are feeling more isolated than ever, Global milestones like this one are a way to feel connected. It's like a big group project when I think about, you know, going out into space because when we go to Mars, we go as inhabitants of Earth. And when you think of all of the challenges that we are facing right now, even countries, you know, working together on vaccines, you know, we also go to Mars um, collaborating with other countries. While he can't predict what perseverance will find on Mars, there are a few things Unger hopes to see. With the helicopter, though, I can't wait to have probably a stitched together video of just flying on Mars. I, you know, something uh, I've always kind of like dreamed about. You see it in movies. In Vancouver, Murata Fatour, City News.